Hi guys, Rian here and today I'll be doing a showcase with the catch. I'll be comparing the R5 catch with my Skyward Spine on Zhongli, Xiangling and Raiden Shogun. At the end of the video, I will also be doing a Spiral Abyss showcase with these characters using the catch. Before I start, I want to let you guys know that my Skyward Spine is ready at Refinement 3. However, this does not affect the damage numbers. It only affects your crit rate and Skyward Spine arguably has the worst refinement out of any 5-star weapon. Each refinement only adds 2% crit rate and some vacuum blade damage. An R5 catch will have 4% more crit rate as compared to Skyward Spine when it comes to elemental bursts. But when you take into account your normal attacks and elemental skill, the passive of the catch is not activated and the Skyward Spine will always perform better. This is important for Raiden Shogun as her elemental skill plays a big part in her kit. So let us start with Xiangling. My Xiangling will be using the catch with 4-piece Crimson Witch set. She's at Constellation 6 with talents 9 and 11. I'm at 1.6k attack with 54% crit rate. But if I switch to Skyward Spine, I'll be at 1.9k attack, that's 300 more attack with also 54% crit rate on my elemental burst. So let's start with the catch. The catch is hitting for 7.8k with my crits. 7.8k. Now let's see the Skyward Spine. The Skyward Spine is hitting for 7.6k. So the catch is actually hitting harder than Skyward Spine. When it comes to Xiangling. Now let's see Zhongli. My Zhongli is using the catch with Arcade Noblesse set. I'm using a HP% percent timepiece. He is also at Constellation 0 with talents 9 and 9. I'm at 1.6k attack also with 50% crit rate on my burst. Now let's switch to Skyward Spine. My attack jumped to 1.88k with also 50% crit rate. Let's see how much I'm doing. 78k. This is with the catch. Now I'm using the Skyward Spine. 75k. This means the catch is better on Zhongli than Skyward Spine. Finally, we'll be testing Raiden Shogun. I'm using the catch with 4-piece Emblem of Avert Fate set. She's at Constellation 0 with talent 6, 6 and 8. She has 78.8% crit rate on her burst and 2k attack. If I switch to Skyward Spine, I will also have the same crit rate, 78.8% but 2.3k attack. For the first test, I'm going to show Raiden Shogun with 0 stacks. She's hitting for 36k on her initial slash using the catch. Now I'm using Skyward Spine. I'm hitting for 37k. So this is slightly better than the catch on Raiden Shogun. Let's try it with 60 resolve stacks now. The catch is hitting for 62.9k. Now let's try Skyward Spine. With 60 stacks, Skyward Spine is hitting for 63.4k. So again, Skyward Spine is slightly better than the catch. In terms of damage, Skyward Spine is better. But that is not just all. Skyward Spine also adds attack speed. So I want everyone to count the number of normal attacks she does during her elemental burst. That is 5 hits. That is another 5 hits. That is 4 hits. So her elemental burst expired before her 5th hit. Now let's see Skyward Spine. 
That is 5 hits. That is another 5 hits. And that's 5 more. So total 15. And the catch only did 14 hits. Here is a side by side comparison. The Skyward Spine not only does slightly more damage than the catch, it also allows Raiden to do one extra attack with her elemental burst because of the increased attack speed. On top of that, the Skyward Spine is also significantly better with her elemental skill. For these three reasons, I'm going to say Skyward Spine is slightly better than the R5 catch. Even if you don't take into account the damage difference, the extra attack and more elemental skill damage also adds up. As promised, I'm going to do a showcase on Spiral Abyss with the three characters. Here, I'm using Xiangling with the catch. She's hitting for around 24 to 28k with her Vaporize, which is really good. Yeah, 28k. The national team is one of the most popular teams with Xiangling. So I believe a lot of people are familiar with this. This is floor 3 or chamber 3. Yeah, Sing Chiu is also super strong. Yeah, the national team is basically all the stronger supports. Just pair them together. Burnett, Sing Chiu, Xiang Lin, and Kazuha are the four strongest sub DPS in the game. Next for my Zhongli showcase is a double Jill double pyro team. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know that I love playing this team. Now we have Yoimiya, but before Yoimiya was out, I was playing it with Klee. So Klee, Jill Traveler, Zhongli, and Burnett. And you don't need to care about your elemental reactions, just pure damage. My Zhongli can hit for 150k. Yeah, let's try it again. Burnett, Jill Traveler, and Zhongli. 157k. Then finish up with Yoimiya. Or if you're using Klee, just finish up with Klee. Because Klee and Yoimiya aren't really good with elemental reactions, I prefer to play a Geo and Pyro team. It's basically a no-brainer team. Here, I'll do the same thing. Use Burnett, then Geo Traveler, then Zhongli. 147k with the catch. 54k with Joe Traveler. Not bad, not bad. And Yoimiya is also hitting super hard because of Geo Resonance and Pyro Resonance. Plus, Joe Traveler increases the crit rate of the entire team, which is really nice. Yeah, Yoimiya is really hitting very hard, especially with Zhongli's shield. And finally, we have Raiden Shogun with the catch. I'm playing her with Sing Chiu and a double Animo team. So I can apply Viridescent debuff and also have shorter cooldowns. So the reduced cooldowns are also quite nice. Instead of always just playing Burnett, I think Sayu is also a very strong character. Especially for the 80 energy cost to build up resolve stacks. So here you can see me hitting for around 14k, 16k per slash. Yeah, it's really strong. Here, start with everyone's burst. Then, use Raiden Shogun, slash away. Each slash 16k, 17k. Here, apply your swirl again. And use ele everyone's elemental burst. Then just repeat. 
right in Shogun's burst. I think the initial slash was more than 100k. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.